Hey, hey, y'all. This is Simi, and we're playing Don't Open Your Eyes. This is a short itch.io game that I found today because I went through itch.io today again. I am sleepy. Can you see? Dog, I'm tired. I did like, I had to do two separate research proposals, an annotated bibliography, and I had graphics homework to do, and I had math homework to do because the semester is coming to a close. So I'm tired. Anyway. Don't open your eyes. We're going to see if I can keep them open this entire playthrough. <laughs> why can't, why doesn't it want me to open my eyes? This is some Five Nights at Freddy shit. Dot, dot, dot. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out of my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against the noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. I don't... Something about having your door open. Like, I've had a room like this, and something about leaving the door open with the hallway dark scares the fuck out of me. So I never did it. Like, I, I will always leave, like, the kitchen light or some shit on so I wouldn't have to see the darkness in the hallway. My mom hated that shit. You running my light bill up, god damn it. <laughs> but not even turning the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. We sleeping. We sleeping right now. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. I know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings, the smallest details. But tonight is no different. Oh, but tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of going. <laughs> the hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness. Like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But. I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and I close my eyes. <laughs> In my room. Okay. There's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room, there's, is that a wall? There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? What is that sound? Are those footsteps? Hmm. 
no, <laughs> that's impossible. That's why you close your door and leave the hallway kitchen light on when you go to sleep in a room like this. <laughs> it must be my imagination. No, 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 no. You ain't got a dog. No, okay. <laughs> but it's getting closer and closer and closer. And as as I'm reading this, my cat is like sidling up beside me for some reason because he knows what I'm doing something. So he's like creeping up slowly. Glitch. <laughs> they are gone. No, they not. Right. There's no way, no way. There's no way someone could be here. Did he get in bed with me? Oh, um, it's, it's, it's bedtime. Hey. Who are you? Open your eyes. Why? <laughs> no, I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. It tells me not to. The game is called Don't Open Your Eyes. Look at me. No. <laughs> I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Who are you? <laughs> Where are your manners? What do you mean? Where are your manners? Walking up on someone in the middle of the night while I'm trying to get my beauty rest. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? What helps you by opening my eyes? I feel like it doesn't help anybody but me. <laughs> I mean you. Is that how it is? No, but... I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I'm gonna turn this down, cause if it jump scares me, I do not want to get my ears blown out. I have never seen myself before. Really? I don't know if my face is ugly. Uh, okay. I don't know the color of my skin. Oh. I'm okay. I don't know if I'm even here. Okay. That is why I need you to open your eyes. I don't wanna. I don't wanna open my eyes. So you can tell me how I look. Use a mirror. I don't. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you. But I'm also shy. Okay. So I might hide the moment you do. Okay. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. So, okay, so you, so, okay. So you don't, okay, so you want me to open your, my eyes to tell you how you look. But the minute I open my eyes, you're going to be gone and I'm going to forget that you're here. Like a faded dream. Okay. I know you're not asleep. <laughs> what? You no, know you don't. I'm, I'm, per I'm, I'm, I'm the pro and pretending to be asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Don't, dog, you're too close with your breath. <laughs> they look so fragile. Oh, I don't. Like I could almost grab them. Don't touch me. <laughs> I feel something caress my ear. Oh, don't touch me. Put my fingers around them. That's nasty. And tear them off. Yeah, I don't think I want to open my... If I do, if you scream... Yes? Will I hear your voice? Yes? It was a joke. The... I don't know you to take jokes from you. I'm joking. Yeah, okay. Don't be scared. Yeah, no. Hey. Hey. How do you think my eyes?
eyes. Look. Mm, how do I think your eyes? Our case is finally made. What will you find? Answer me. They look lost. They look empty. They look broken. They look lost. They look lost. lost. Oh, okay. That's that's not creepy at all. That may be so. Hmm. I am never sure of where I am. Okay. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. Okay. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. Okay. The thought terrifies me. Are you making a friend with me right now? It terrifies me so much. After barging into my room at midnight and uh, caressing my ears without my consent. <laughs> so I always keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Even if there's nothing to see. Okay. That way, nothing will slip away. Okay. No matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides. Okay. No matter how terrifying the world might be. Okay. No matter the countless terrible things I witness by mistake in the process. Okay. No matter what. I will never blink. <laughs> okay. I will forever be confused by the world around me. Okay. I will forever be lost. Okay. What is that something that I'm searching for? Dog, I don't know. I'm going through an existential crisis myself. Why would I know what you're looking for? It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. Okay. What is it? I don't know. Is it something I can hold? I don't know. Is it a being of flesh and bones? As long as it's not me. Is it nearby? No, it's out there, out the hallway, back down the hallway. Go. <laughs> Is it you? No, I just said no. Hey. Wait. Hey. Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Have I? Have I? Hmm. Have you? Maybe. I remain silent. These eyes. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Are these your eyes? Yes. A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. But <laughs> Open your eyes. Ah! I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay. I'm gonna turn it down some more. Cause I do not want to get jump scared. Fine, I'm opening them. I open my eyes. Okay. There's nothing there. Hi, Glitchington. <laughs> Is this why you were creepy? You wanted to be under my desk. Okay. Okay, so he closes his eyes back. Oh, wait. Okay. So, okay. So every time I open my eyes, he 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 goes away and I'll forget that he's there. Okay, hold on. Sound. Let's turn the music volume down. Okay. Load. Oh, you can save? Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna get back to where I was. Getting late. Gotta go to sleep. Okay. So it starts there. Wait, I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. Okay, the process of falling asleep. Barking dogs, police sirens. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna click through this. Okay. We're gonna click through this at a furious speed. Open. Open your look. Why where are if this I will I I I Okay, I, come on. See but so I'm you like I know you listen, Phil. Look put my fingers 
Okay, so I think we can save. Right, so we save right here. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So we're not gonna open our eyes. No. Nope. So you won't look at me. No. Nope. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How do you know what my eyes look like? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Dog. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. The fact that you walked into my room in the middle of the night and you're just whispering shit in my ear. Can you not? So, so pretty. <sighs> A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Who got time? I don't have time. The night is still and silent. I bet. Stop! Don't do that! I hate that shit. Don't do that. Stop! <laughs> Stop breathing in my ears! Stop! People are good at closing their doors. Uh huh. Do you know what a door is? Oh, yeah, I know. I should have closed mine. Of course, you know. You have one right there. At the verge of your little world. Yep, and I should have closed it. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Are you the bad? The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes, me. I bet. I can't open doors. Oh, that's good to know. Good to know that I'll be locking my doors every night for the rest of my life, you fucking- I find them. Tricky. You ain't got no hands, huh? Should I push or pull? I... Is that what- that that's what bothers you about doors? Should I turn the knob left or right? I don't think it matters if it's a knob. Should I try to take it off its inches? That'd be excessive. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? That also seems excessive. And what happens when it opens? I might shoot you. Do I? <laughs> Close it behind me. No, you just don't go in. Do I keep it open? You can leave. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Yeah. But then, how do I get out? Uh. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. Not really. So you just stay out. I could go wrong. You could just stay out. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Good. I stare at it for a long time. Good. And think of my excuses. How about we practice that and you go back outside the door? Because that's all they are. Oh? What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. Th there's no such thing as the idea they exist. They just exist. To keep me out. Uh, yeah. Who are you? It fills me with the need to go in. How about you go in somebody else's door then? My door was open. So I search for a crevice or a window. Oh, okay. Anything that might be open. Okay. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit... Then I can't go in anywhere. <laughs> Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Okay. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. Okay. In my internal search, I pick a place where to rest. Okay. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. So you just be bumming back and forth? Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. But 
sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. Like what? The urge to be seen. Like right now? So I search hard for a door that's open. Okay. For an entryway covered in darkness. Okay. And for someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting you. You can leave. But you won't look at me. No. Even though you had your door open for visitors. That's not why I had it open. Why is that? Are you afraid? Yes. Do I scare you? Yes. No. That can't be it. Yes. We have been chatting for so long. Really, it's just been you during the talking. You're just really, really talkative. You haven't chased me out. What? But I'm not supposed to even be awake. Like, I'm not supposed to tell you. That means you welcome me. Does it? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's what that means. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. Could you not? Dog, don't. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. God. So very warm. Is he gonna ask me to hold his hand? Because people are always warm. Who, what are you if you're not a people's? Hey. Hey. How do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? You're not warm. Answer me. Uh, uh, they look deceitful. They look incomplete. They look, let's say they look tired. They look tired. Yeah. That's, that's what the tired hands look like? Okay. That may be so. Okay. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. Stop touching people. They are always stretching forwards. Okay. Reaching out for something. Okay. The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel. Really poetic. And their sensations reach the core of my brain. Okay. Be it the softness of the first spring flowers, or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. So you have claws. Okay, okay. No matter the time of day. Okay. No matter if I'm awake or asleep. Okay. As if they had a mind of their own. I'm trying to present the kindest vision possible. Even now. They clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Stop! They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is irresistible. Ugh. They want more. Stop! They want to feel closer, to have it between them and around them, more and more and more. Can you stop touching my sheets? Sometimes. However, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I... What? Lend a hand. What? I take over and... Stretch. 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 Can you stop? And they grow. Ooh. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow. So you can grow your fingers at will. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside. Discarded and forgotten. Oh, really? That's why they are tired. Okay. Because they never stop seeking. Okay. And most likely, never will. Okay, put your hands away. Hey. Put your fingers away. Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp? Not physically. Have you? <laughs> I remain silent. These hands. Are these... My hands? I'm gonna save it right here.
Yes. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. I'm not open to my eyes. your eyes. No. So you won't look at me. No. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. I definitely cannot grow my fingers out when I feel like Think it. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. Oh, yeah? No. I know we are. Oh, really? I can feel it in my skin. How about you back your skin up off my bed? Oh. Oh? Can you hear it? Uh-huh. My skin is pulsating. I don't think it has been long since this happened. What does this mean? It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Okay. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. Okay. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. Okay. But it's not like anyone will do. Okay. Ooh, wait, you mean me? Like I'm your chosen one? If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Okay. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Okay. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. Since I don't want to be judged. This guy is all over the place. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. I don't think neither- this doesn't help me. It only helps you. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... I don't know what it makes him feel. <laughs> feel. It makes you feel feel. It makes you feel. Just feel. Alive? Cause you probably did. Something. Oh, okay, okay. I cannot describe it. Okay. I am not good with words. You sure? Cause you've been talking this whole time. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. Okay. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. Okay. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. So, okay, okay. So somebody helped you learn how to speak and now you just won't stop fucking talking. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. But why do you want to be seen? Like, you want to be seen, but you don't want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. I don't care much for my appearance. You don't care much for your appearance, but you're pressed to be seen because you want someone to tell you what, you what you look like. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. Uh-huh. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I don't know. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Okay. But I will. You will what? Soon. Okay. Once you open your eyes. No, you won't. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Why would I be taking the bed sheets off my body? If all I'm doing is looking at you, why would I be taking the bed sheets off my body? And you inspect every crevice of mine. I don't like the way you're talking to me right now. 
And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Oh my god, I don't like the way this sounds now. To let me hear what I am. You want me to tell you you're beautiful? And to maybe even give me a name. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Hey. Hey. What does my expression look like? Uh. When that veil of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. It's... An emotionless stare, a cheerful smile. I think he would be happy, right? He's been talking all this time about wanting me to see him, right? A cheerful smile. That's not what I wanted. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I wanted then that. Maybe so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Ooh. It has been so, so long. Okay. I can no longer remember where it all began. But who's to say it had a beginning? You right. Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. I rarely travel during the daytime, only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed that was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city, one full of people, I couldn't see them, but I knew they were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt, completely motionless, completely silent, living in weight of their deaths, and what's more, none dared to look at me. Did they even know I was there? Maybe they did not care. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory, and my most joyful one. Oh. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely, that's how it must be. Okay. But tonight, I'm not joyful. Why? So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Huh. Hey, have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face, when in reality, you're feeling anything but? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Definitely. This expression, is this, my expression? Huh. Is this your expression? Yeah, we're gonna overwrite that save. No. Is that so? Then, what does my expression look like when that fill of uncertain ends? Let's see, an emotionless stare. An emotionless stare. Huh. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. Yeah. They require one's face to continue in many different ways. Uh -huh. I am not capable of that. Everything about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. It is something I noticed long ago. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. People interact with each other. They form connections. 
emotions. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second, turning old and perishing. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. And in my life, I have seen others born and die, born and die. A person's existence is so fleeting, and yet so many things happen to them, so many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me. Save for a minuscule number, they are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give to that which they care about. Perhaps, if someone else had lived what I had, they would see meaning, they would treasure it, but I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do, and by extension, in what I am. I want for someone to tell me how I look, yet I don't see that as important. No one but me would care. So why should I care? But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy, sorrow, fear. I am always feeling, and right now, I am feeling strongly. It's here, in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. And if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath. Yeah. Have you? Yep, definitely. This expression is this. My expression. Yeah, this is yours. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. Sad boy. These are my hands. Creepy boy. And this is my expression. Ugly boy. I consider these my most treasured features. Okay. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. Okay. I feel a connection with you. Do you? One born out of honest gratitude. Okay. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. And we're going to save it right there. <laughs> Do I open my eyes? Do I not open my eyes? Do I open my eyes? Do I not open my eyes? Nope. No. I see. I understand. Do you? No. It's fine. Uh huh. You have still helped me by answering my questions. Okay. No one has done that for me before. Okay. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Okay. No. No? That is a lie. Okay. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Ooh. Not even once. Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. I told you what you wanted to know. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Okay. Not even once. Glitch, don't scare me like face? that. You stayed there, 
acting as if you were asleep. Uh huh. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. Uh huh. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. What do you want from me? <laughs> you haven't opened your mouth. Okay. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. Sure. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. Oh yeah? That's why I know. What do you know? That I wasn't wrong. You are like me. How? We are the same. How? You too. Look for what's not there. Okay. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. That's definitely not what I was doing. And you too. Uh huh. Are a liar. The type that shows one thing and feels another. Okay. But you made a mistake. Ooh. I know you're lying. How? Because every answer you've given me so far uh -huh. has been wrong. Okay. I am not what you said I am. Then why'd you ask me? These eyes, these hands, this expression. Uh huh. They okay. aren't mine. Okay. Maybe they are yours. But I do not care. Why do you, why did we engage in this entire conversation then? Not anymore. Okay. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. Then then what are you I complaining didn't about? I want to be perceived for something I'm not. Then what are you complaining That's about? That's all you did. Oh my god. You You came into my room at midnight. Nobody asked you to be here. And nobody asked you to talk to me. You could have just left me alone and let me sleep. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. Nope. You said so. Remember? Nope. That in this room, you know how everything looks. How did you know I said that? It was those words that brought me here. How did you know I said that? So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. I don't see your logic. It is time. No. Open your eyes. That's the only option I have. Open your eyes. You're gonna jump scare me, aren't you? No. Do I open my eyes? Now I gotta save again. Uh, no. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. Oh. You won't open your eyes. I will. Oh. Something coils around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. Oh. I hear something shatter. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? Nothing. You murdered me. I want to answer, but they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is. You broke my eyes. I closed my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. Ooh. Open them. Ooh. Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It seems I did it again. Oh yeah. You can't see anymore, right? Uh -huh. You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think 
anymore. Right. Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that when they do. When they do? Fucking asshole. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. I don't know. You're you're like dead. But I can no longer open my eyes. David Acosta, you get out my ear, sir. Let's see. Do I open my eyes? Yes. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. Oh. You won't open it. I will. I said yes. What's this for? Yes. Oh my. Okay, he leaves. So he leaves. If you open your eyes at any point in time, he leaves. And then if you open your eyes, even at the end, you had your chance. He says, fuck it, and just murders you anyway. This was, don't open your eyes. Then he, he definitely probably has more dialogue, but I didn't really choose any of the extra dialogue. So if you want to check this out yourself and see all the dialogue options and whatnot, and maybe he will be there when you open your eyes. But if you want to see it yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, come through more often if you'd like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.